<laughs> All right, now we're live. All right, hold on. Pump it. This is from Mr. Dunlow. Welcome to Swimming's Best Talk Show. Gonna learn all the things that Brett Hawk knows as he has a chat <laughs> with his guests about what it takes to be the best. But the sport's about more than just best times. It's winning the battle against your mind. So listen in and let's take a dive with Brett Hawk as we go inside. Boom. Who the hell did that? <laughs> One of That's our fans, smart. Mr. Dunlow. You serious? That's yep. fantastic. I thought so too. Good for him. That is brilliant. Brilliant. Thanks. Welcome, everybody. Welcome uh, back to another recap prelims of the Tokyo Olympics. Dude, what a what a morning or night nighttime in Tokyo, but what a what a prelims, eh? What a Correct. night last night. Uh, oh, last night. Well, yeah, we, we we went over that. That was wicked. Isn't it weird though? Just think like Last night was this morning in Tokyo, and then this morning was tonight. Like, they, they didn't really get a full day. They just – I mean, they didn't get a, a night's sleep. They just kind of swam finals, went to lunch, came back and swam prelims again. It's it's such a weird thing for them, hey? It's crazy. 100%. Crazy. All right, so this morning, more fast swimming, some big names out, some young teenagers in. First event, yeah. women's hundred backstroke. Oh wow, what a race, hey? Eh? Killer, killer race. Hundred back, they were just like boom, 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 boom. Wow. Olympic record, Olympic record, Olympic record. One heat after the other it was pretty funny. It was like each one of them was just trying to up, you know, dunk on the <laughs> next. Okay, so out of the out of the three Olympic records, who looked the easiest? Kelly McEwen, definitely. Really, McEwen? Definitely. Huh? Gonna go with the Aussie there. I definitely. actually, I actually thought Regan Smith looked pretty comfortable. She looked way better than she did at trials. Way better, yeah, way better. Good. Smoky yeah. eyes over there, smoky eyes. <laughs> smoky eyes. <laughs> she uh, actually, I watched this. Uh, they they had this great um little thing on her yesterday on tv where they kind of followed her around and cut it up and it was really funny she did it in a funny way and man she it just got a, a glimpse into her personality she's um she's good man i like her a lot you know and uh she's gonna contend here i'm telling you reagan smith she will contend but what a race what about seaborn getting stuck in there getting into the finals yeah yep Solid swim for her. She's she's going to be in there and around about it, but um, but it's really a three horse race. Who wants gold, silver, and bronze in that one at this point, isn't it? Also, Kira Tsarts coming on, coming on. She can go faster than fifty nine two, definitely. It's yeah, be... yeah. She's an underwater swimmer. She's she's brilliant underwater. Um, she doesn't have the long course stroke to match with the top three girls, but. She can definitely go faster. Sure. Yeah, I think sure. so. Yeah, I mean it's all there. Yeah, it was it was wild. So that's going to be interesting to see how they keep going back and forward. They got a night's sleep to think about that one now. So I'll sleep it off and. Yeah, they still got to they still got to swim semis tonight, right? Yeah. Yeah. We'll see what people do. It was nobody went out and you know did a Clement Kalishnikov. Clements under 25 seconds, you know, which is ridiculous. Just going super hard in that backstroke. But on yeah. the women's side, I don't even think anyone broke 28 going out. It was a real controlled uh, mm -hmm. pre-lip swim there. But, um, yeah, Olympic record, Olympic record, Olympic, uh, Olympic record. That was kind of like the highlight. It was it was a good start to the morning. Yeah. Fantastic course. Good Fantastic. stuff. Yeah, one of the races of the of – the the whole event so far, I think, was this men's 200 freestyle prelims, though. Wow, that was just uh, – that was a throwdown, wasn't it? The kid from Korea, 144 mid. Yeah, what was his time coming in? Uh, that's his best time, but he, he wasn't too far off of that, I don't think. But he oh, was right. out so fast, 50.1. Let me, let me pull this up. Thorpey? Yep. Thorpey. Give, us, give us Thorpey. 
So basically everyone in the world is swimming the 200 freestyle the wrong way. Man, we've been, we've been hearing that for a year now. And a new generation's coming through in that, in this 203. I think it's going to be the young generation to take this. I thought Popovich up. Uh, yeah. Popovich looked, uh, looked smooth, man. And his, his finish, he screwed it up at the end. And then, um, yeah, he, he looks super easy, super, super easy. And he was in the heat all by himself. Yeah. Know? Because his entry time wasn't the time that he went a couple weeks ago. Yeah, and actually, he's been doing a lot of that, you know, so it'll be interesting to see when he's up against it tonight where he's got guys on his shoulder. That's going to be a different feeling for him, isn't it? Well, he came He came back in, what, 26? I can't really see that. He came 25. back in, what, 20, 25? 26.5. 26.5. Uh -huh. And Rapsis was the quickest with 26.1. The Rapsis came back like a steam train. Yeah. No, not Rapsis. Oh yeah, he did. Yeah, he yeah, 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 yeah. yeah Rapsis came back. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Maybe Rapsis has been doing all his training for the twos because his fall was off, but uh, certainly came back at it. But he still got he still got some work to do to get up under that forty five. But uh, man, it was just it was just firing, wasn't it? Boom, boom. Any who, any big names miss that? Let me scroll down. Anyone, any big names miss the top 16 on that one? Elijah Winnington. That's yeah. right. Winnington, yeah. He didn't swim well, did he? So he's been off. Yeah, certainly not at his trials times, is he? That's yeah. Do you, think, boy. do you think the box or guys are feeling the pressure? They all look a little bit... They're not as sharp as they were at trials. I, I don't know... Who else he's coaching other than him and, and, and Titmus, you know, and, and we can get to Titmus in a minute, but um, we'll see. It'll play out. But uh, the other, my boy, uh, Fernando Sheffer, I thought he threw down this morning. He looked great. Uh, I, I know him real well from my days in Brazil. and He's been on the pod. He's been, yeah, he's been on the pod at the uh, ISL. Good kid. Um, yeah, good to see him get out there and race. And in the mix there, great swim for him. Um, the the British boys are up there. Boys, yep. Yeah, good for them. It's good. We, we need that. We need those guys in the mix. You know, we need the British boys in the mix. Yeah, it's going to be a fight uh, tonight to try to get top eight. I mean, the two Americans, Townley, Kieran Smith, uh -huh. on the bottom of the the top sixteen right here. Um, we got we got to get into that that final heat to have a chance to get that medal. Yeah. But uh, America's been killing it. We, you know, perfect. Perfect again this morning. So we're, we're, we're doing everything the right way. A nice little progression event by event. Yeah. All right. Tonight, tonight, that'll be fun. Uh, moving on. Women's 100 breaststroke. From Here we go. Here's, here's your chance, mate. Adrian. Africa. Tatiana. 104.82. Olympic record. Do you know this girl? I do, actually. I had her for a breaststroke clinic with... Uh, with with her coach Rocco, she's she's an amazing amazing person, super humble. Um, and her and her coach just have a great relationship. They worked hard, man. They've worked hard. She how have they how have they done it in the pandemic? Because I heard in in South Africa, pools were just locked down. Yeah, they've 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 managed to do some sneaky swimming, but um, hey, man. She's done what she's had to do. Hey, she's there. She's done an Olympic record, and she's looking good. She's and looking she's strong. She's primarily a two hundred breaststroker. Yeah, she's two hundred. She's she's there to take that two hundred. So this this front end speed's looking really good for her. Mm. Really, yeah. really good. Yeah. She's she's maybe a little bit tight in the beginning, but uh, she'll ease out. I think she's 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 got to prove herself, and this is where she's going to do it. Yep, get that first swim out of the way in an Olympic record. It's got to be a good feeling, I'd imagine. Yeah, coming back 34-6 as well. It's fantastic. Um, yeah, great, great, great. I'm looking forward to what, she, what comes from her. She's so humble, guys. I, I can't even explain. Now, the other American girl didn't make top 16. Oh, she's seated second, bud. 
Oh, Lydia Jacoby. There she oh, yeah. is. There she Everyone is. in Alaska was up extra early. I'm sure you were over there last <laughs> week. I heard you were over there last week, just giving Alaska a little breakdown. I was, man. She's she's a big name in Alaska. They love her out there, you know, and they they say nothing but great things about her. Uh, good swim. I didn't I didn't see that prelim. I must have uh, switched off for that one. I saw the others, but great swim there, one hundred five five. Good for her. Yeah. yeah it, Hmm? Sorry, man. Do you think Lily was rating a little bit hard there? You think she's got more in the tank? Oh, yeah. I mean, it's just prelims. There's, she's A okay. Yeah, prelims, there's a lot of games going on and, you know, just feeling things out and just kind of no one wants to bring their A game, you know, first thing uh, when you've got a couple of extra swims to go. And so, yeah, there's going to be some shifts around here, but. Look, again, I think it's one of those swims where it's going to be tight to make top eight. I mean, they're stacked in there and 105 high, 106 low. There's a bunch of girls. So that's going to be one of those ones where you want to get your hand on the wall. Eh? And if and over back in the mix. Yeah. yeah. Fema uh, definitely make it back eighth, I think. Back in the pink. Yeah. Yeah, she, uh, she looked pretty cruisy. I think she was comfortable this morning she was playing those uh ryan murphy games so speaking of let's move down to the 100 backstroke here uh men's 100 back yeah kalishnikov wow didn't he throw down yeah he was out like a bat out of hell yeah, he came at that um looked a million dollars look ryan murphy's world record he was out in 25-1 you know, backstrokes that stroke, it, it, it's the the world's best. Pure Assault did the same thing. He basically did two fifties back to back with under two second differential. And Clement Kalishnikov's like, nah, bump that. I'm going fly or die, baby. And he's uh, he's he's sub twenty five to the feet. Uh, no one's close to that right now. Uh, I still don't think he fell in a bucket, though. I still think he kind of eased into the finish. Not, you know, but he didn't fall apart is what I'm saying, you know? Yeah, somebody else said that he was really cr – like he just shut it down, but I don't know if he shut it down. Yeah, uh, I, don't, I don't think it was that. But He didn't look like he was dead, that's for sure. No, no. There's definitely a little bit more there, and I think that would – Definitely makes some of those other guys a little uneasy, like Ryan Murphy. He's got his work cut out for him. Um, it was a it was a smooth, easy, controlled swim for him. Obviously, smart guy, been here, done that. Um, but, but he's got his work cut out for him. That's for sure. Lots of pressure on him to keep that hundred backstroke for you guys going. Hey, eh? he's got to win. He's got to keep that tradition going. It is. Uh, it's like the longest standing. Yeah. Record. American male dominance in the backstroke. Everybody knows it. It's been a long, long time since we lost any of those races. So um, Hunter Armstrong, who is also on the team, just slipped into semis. He's 15th. Yeah, his was another swim. I, I didn't catch him. Uh, was what, what was going on there? He just was all over the place? I didn't actually see him either. Um, but it looks like he was out 26-3 and back be interesting to see what that last heat of guys do because 27 4 which is the way he's, that's the way he swims it right like real tight out too slow though yeah, yeah gonna, way too slow you're gonna get left you don't want to be two body lengths up behind the olympic field here these guys are too good no he's 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 a second off of what he was going um last month so hopefully he's you know hopefully it was just a hey that's a nice little prelim swim Let's get after it tonight for semifinals. Yeah. I think this whole group can go away. It is just going to look so much faster tonight. Uh, yeah, yeah that, that last heat, that last heat was just thrown off. They were, they were just at right off what looked like he was going to go, and then yeah, officials called down, start again. Yeah, Even exactly. And and yeah. Murph like kind of got off of the off the blocks and like looked over at him and was like yeah what are you doing dude yeah exactly <laughs> we're swimming exactly. there what's going on so. fitter and fitter and faster swim camps on the live feed welcome team boom all right let's move on to this 400 freestyle women here we go boys here we go 
got yeah, ourselves Nate, a race. This is this is Nate's thing. Yeah, let's go, Nate. Put it down. Oh, well, I think Ledecky looked pretty good this morning. Um, a little better than she did last time around last month. So hopefully she just needs a little bit more rest. Titmus looked a little bit like the opposite, you know. She was yeah. really far out in the lead. It's prelims. There's no concern whatsoever of not making it back and making it back in one of the middle lanes. So how much was she really given? How much was she really going? I guess we'll find out tonight, but uh, hopefully she's not doing what Elijah Winnington's doing, and that's she adds I mean, three seconds in the 400 like he added three seconds. She'll be 359, I mean, and it'll be a real fight, a, a real dogfight between her and Ledecky to see who gets their hand on the wall first. I think both both look great. I think Ledecky looked easier than Titmus. Yeah. Um, but they both they both switched off. They both switched off that race. Well, I'll tell you this. Let me let me give you my insights here. Ledecky looked smooth. I thought way better than Trials, and I think that little smirk at the end kind of showed us what she's got. Yeah. Tidmus was breathing a little harder than I liked. Uh, she looked a little shocked too. Um, but de definitely got more. But I think when you're five seconds off what you just went at Trials, you know, five weeks ago, you're like, oh shit, I got, I still got some room here weeks. to do. Yeah. Uh, and here's the thing. I watched. Um, I watched a show on her yesterday, which kind of put me off a little bit. They did this little preview show and interviewed Titmus, and um, she was talking about beating Ledecky. Well, first of all, Ledecky was her hero. Um, you know, watched her at the 16 Olympics and thought she was just unbeatable. Then, you know, she goes, to, she goes and beats her at the World Championships a couple of years ago, and she said in the interview, I still haven't come to the realization that I actually beat Katie Ledecky. This is two years ago. So that was a little shocking to me. And then another wow. thing, like her and her coach, and I love her coach. I think uh, I think Dean Boxall is incredible. They kept talking about Ledecky in practice, Ledecky, 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 Ledecky. So it's like she just got this thing in her head about, you know, her whole identity is about beating Katie Ledecky. You know, I'm a little concerned about it. That's all I'm saying. So we'll see how that one plays out tonight. Could be, yeah, could be a shocker um, if Titmus doesn't get close to that swim that she produced five weeks ago and the fight for third is is going to be on you know Paige madden american snuck in summer mcintosh from canada the young teenager had a great she looked good. This morning. yep she did she she looked looked good. Well. speaking of how good are the canadian women swimming now yeah, good for them they look oh, great they're cooking it and they got the best looking suits <laughs> yeah <laughs> Their men's swim well this morning too on the relay. Did their men make it back? Um, Canada, come on, let's see. Let's scroll down. Did Canada make it? Seventh, yeah. Yeah, Canada. Brent Hayden, baby. Okay, we'll get yeah, to Brent, that. He let off. It. Yeah, we'll get to that. We'll get to that next. But uh, yeah, battle. All right, pick it. Uh, let's let's get your pick now. Get it in now. Who's winning this four hundred free tonight? Ledecky. Ledecky, okay. I'm gonna go with Nate. There. Nate. I think it's going to be 359 low. Both of them, boom, boom. I'm going America, baby. <laughs> you going 359? Wow, you're you're calling, you're calling Titmus to be three seconds off what she went at trials. Yes, I am. And wow. and I wrote that I'm, article uh, earlier how I thought she was going to blow the doors off of it, but <laughs> you called um, that too early. Yeah. Well, you know. But, you can make predictions before any of the swimming. And then when the first ones, you know, you get a prelim swim, you get to really see people. It's, it's quite different, but, um, mm. yeah, I'm going to go, gonna I'm going to go Ledecky 357. She's going to go, she's going to go, man. I think she was that easy. She looked easy. I'm going to go 350, 357. All right. We got, go we got Adrian 357 Ledecky. We got Nate 359 Ledecky by a touch. I'm coming in with Titmus, boys. I'm putting my money oh. on the Aussie. I'm not going with you knuckleheads, okay? <laughs> this is all Australia. We're getting this win. Titmus is coming over the top and uh, going to be a big one for Australia. Dean Boxwell, Ariana Titmus. Boom. There we go. The most important thing in swimming is to win. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> uh, there you go. 
Uh, he'll be up soon. Yep. Yep. Okay. Tip is for the win. Thanks, boys. Okay. Win. All right. Relay. Let me pull up these splits for everybody. Men's four by one. This is going to oh. be a cracker. Wow. First of all, did Russia not swim somebody or did they not swim their whole team? What happened to the Russians? Exactly. Vlad, look, Vlad looks, looked terrible. It, Vlad just came out of me. Yeah. I actually haven't seen the splits. Uh, what, are, what are the Russian splits? 48-3. 47 4, 48 1, 49 1. That 49 1 is what killed him. Who went 49 1? Alexander Shklagolev. Oh, uh, Kalishnikov didn't I think swim. I said that right. Oh, Rock, Rock Neathling's back in the know. chat, man. Get, get him, Adrian, get him on here, man. Come on. Pull some strings. Oh, I thought you South Africans I thought it together. Yesterday. <laughs> I'll let me get these splits for you here. You here we go. Here we go. All right, Reich, If you're not going to come on, give us your prediction on who. Let's go. Let's go. Gold, silver, and bronze from the Olympic gold medalists. Tell us. The Italians look good. The Italians did kill it. They've been killing it the whole entire meet so far. They've put kids, boys, and girls in almost every single final heat, and the men swim out of their brains. And one of the boys had the stash too at the end. There, you see that? Yeah, it was brilliant. Good for him. Santo, Santo Condarelli was on that relay, so uh, he, he's he's in the hunt for his uh, – looking for his first gold medal. Yeah. Yeah, and, yeah, that's a good – yeah, the Aussies do swap out the 49-1. Uh, we've got a comment there. Do the Aussies swap out the 49-1? Yeah, they've got the, the butterfly kid. What's his name? Matt Temple. Temple. Temple's coming in for the Aussies, so he'll – they'll be better. They're, they're going to be two seconds better, but – Two seconds better is not going to be good enough to win it. But they're going to be uh, – they'll be in there. You know, you put Temple and – yeah, we got a chance. Is that a – And then Dressel. Go ahead. And then Dressel in for USA. This could oh, be yeah. Oh, yeah. Dressel, uh, Dressel's, a, Dressel's a good two-second drop on, on one of the guys. Who, what did Brooks Curry lead, lead off in? 48-8. 48-8. Yuck. Um, yeah, you got you got two seconds right there at least for Dressel. So there's there's the US just even just off that, you know, three oh nine right there. And then you know, I still think these boys can swim faster. Um I want I want uh, my boy Zach Apple to lead off, but I don't think they're gonna do that. I think you're gonna dress or lead off. I think the order will stay the same after that. It'll be Peroni, Becker, and then Apple at the end. I think that's the that's the US order. Bo Becker with a huge swim this morning. Massive swim, Bo Becker. Good for you, mate. 47-5. And he just kicked the ever-living snot out of his heat and really pushed America forward on that. Okay, here's Rick, uh, Rick's uh, call here. He's calling USA, Russia, and Italy. Okay, he's, he's saying the Russians are going to come out of lane eight here. Perfect. I don't think so. Oh, Wow. And he's saying it depends on the order. I agree. What do you mean depends on the order? How we, where we put them. Why does that depend? Orders. Why we'll does that depend? It. We'll change it. Nah, man, a swim's a swim, mate. Get up and race. You have a shitty swim, you have a shitty swim. You have a good one, you have a good one. How about that 46-6 there from Chalmers, huh? There's nothing more satisfying than swimming over the top of these guys and, and, you know, seeing yourself catch them. And, um, you know, that's been the talk of the Olympic since is how I swam that race and how I, how I did it. Kyle Chalmers, baby. You. Yeah, 46.6. He was all legs too. Did you see his legs at the end? Just like. <laughs> uh, and actually the big stinger of, of prelims was. You know, Great Britain missing out on this relay by a few hundredths of a second to let to let Russia sneak in eighth place. So, uh, big, big little miscalculated uh, relay mess up there for what did what did my boy Cherigini swim there? I didn't even see his split. What do you got? Forty-seven low or something. Forty-seven low. Yeah, he's been forty-six before. Oh, hold on. Cherigini at the end, 47-3. That's okay. 
Hey, he flipped faster than anyone at the 50. He was 21-8. Only, only guy sub-22 to his toes this morning. Do, do the French have anyone to change out? Uh, I don't know much about the French team it. anymore. I mean, are you going to put Florent Manadou on it? Fred Busquet still swimming? <laughs> <laughs> no, Manadou. I don't think Manadou will do it. I don't think so either. No. Got to rest up for that 50. Bruno Fratis not swimming for Brazil either. Yeah, not. Michael Redpath spot on. Litchfield was a – he did not have a good swim. Yeah, what happened to Great Britain? Let's go there. 49-3 or – Pull up the splits. Great Britain, where are you? 49-4 for Litchfield on the third. Hey, the young kid, Jacob Whittle, though, with a smash and dash, 47-5. That's impressive. I mean, the splits are, splits are okay there. Like, you got a 48-2 lead, right? Is that what that says, 48-2? Yep. Yeah, that's, a good, that's a good lead off. Okay. Yeah. And then you come in with a 48 flat. All right, you're in the money. But then you drop a 49-4. I mean, get out of here. Yeah, yeah, and Duncan Scott sit on the sideline, you know. So of course, I was, oh, I was jabbing tragic. all. Yeah, I was jabbing all the pull buoy and propulsion yeah, coming really in, and all the other English people. I guess we'll get Sonny on maybe later. Um, oh, Sonny's going to lose his mind. Uh, Mate. It's so heartbreaking because Duncan Scott's like a what? Talk about a two-second swing right there. You're going from ninth place to second place. I mean, no, what are they thinking? Seriously, you're not, you're not a top one or two team. You, you can't risk that. I think Litchfield was 48-8 at trials from a flat start. Yeah, but still 48-8. That, that can swing either way. You know, like that's not a, you know, if you're 48 flat, maybe, but 48-8 is not something to write home about. Every man and their dog can swim 48-8 these days. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> no? That's very really disappointing. It's very disappointing. Wow, they got to be shattered. Yeah, that's a that's a big miss. I actually thought the U.S. had made a huge mistake after the first leg too. I was like, oh, they're in trouble. But is it Dressel versus Chalmers leg one? I think Chalmers is anchoring. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. know. Maybe they do stick him out in front. That'll be interesting, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah. You know, got Dressel and. Dressel, I think, is going to lead off. Yeah, I, I think I think Dressel's going to take that lead off, and and now's actually a good time to announce this because uh, we're going to have two of the best lead legs in history coming onto the show tonight to call this race. We have got Michael Clem, who led off the Australian four by one in two thousand in a world record time, coming on the show, and we have got Roland Schumann who led off the South African 4x1 in 2004. Uh, I don't believe it was a world record, but it was a, it was a killer first leg. Um, so here we go with uh, two of the, the best lead-off legs in history to come in and call this one and watch possibly Caleb Dressel possibly break the world record here on this lead-off. Or, or, or even, like you said, where, where Chalmers might lead off as well. It could be a great head-to-head. -head. I think it's going to be fun, but that's our that's our guys tonight. We've got Michael Clem and uh, Roland Schumann coming in to do the call. Magic. It's going to be hard tonight. Yeah. Uh, the ticker is showing the schedule for tonight on the bottom. The ticker showing you the event lineup for this evening's final session, starting at nine thirty our time. We are exactly twelve hours away. I did ask a famous U.S. Uh, swimmer to come on and but he was complaining about not receiving any money for it so that didn't work out so well oh goodness yeah oh, sure. i did Throwing i did i, I, I did I, dro I dropped it in there nate there you go how about that <laughs> <laughs> all right um, oh man so i'm gonna have to get up at half past three in the morning to watch these these finals today yeah man you know what i gotta do i gotta stop cooking I'm, I cooked breakfast yesterday in prelims. All of a sudden, I'm watching Emma Wyatt in the 400 IM. My smoke alarms are going off like crazy because I had left the eggs and the oil on the pan. And <laughs> last night, man, I, I put this giant pork roast on my Weber, like the smoke for hours. <laughs> I'm still there. It's still on the Weber. <laughs> <laughs> 
So uh, no more cooking right. for me. I think I'm just gonna buy DoorDash, and they can just deliver food all week because I I can't pay attention. Dude, how about that? We're at the 30 minute mark again. We nailed it. Yeah, that's Done. it. 30 minutes. Right. Awesome, boys. Awesome. Gone. Done and dusted. All right. Thanks, everybody, for showing up once again. Check out the sponsors, Swim Angel Fish, Destro Machine, Superior Swim Timing, and our brand new one, the Magic 5 Goggles, that will scan your eyeballs and get you a custom tailored pair of goggles for your eyes. Sick goggles. Love those. Beautiful. We'll see you guys tonight. All right. Later. Bye.